Hello boys and girls, Thomas here, and today, as you can see, we are back on Minecraft. But, we are obviously in Minecraft, as I just said, but not in the normal realm. So we are on the realm, like, world, but we're not actually on the realm, we're in a copy of the realm, which I made, just so I can work on this. Now this, just behind up where our old iron farm used to be, is where our mega base is going to be. Now, at the minute... I've planned out the actual bottom of it, so it's just going to be like a massive castle, 45 by 45 walls. Uh, I think this is 20 by 20. Uh, one second, let me just double check. 19 long towers. And so in this uh, episode, guys, we're just going to basically work on the uh, plan for our base. So obviously, I'm just going to—I'm not going to do all the towers and stuff. This is just a template. I'm basically just going to be doing uh, the one tower and one wall in this episode, and then we'll copy it throughout all of them in the survival world and see how it looks. So, should we just do it? Why not? So my design, my idea for this build, is basically it's like a sort of like ruined look. So if I go for quite a little a bit of a ruined look, sort of, and then fill it with like loads of redstone stuff, I think that'd be quite cool. Yeah, yeah, I still don't know how big I want this thing. And also, guys, if you've got a better technique for how to randomise block, then please do tell me in the comments, because this is the one I'm, this is the, this is how I use it at the minute, but it works in Java really well. But in Bedrock, it's just like, it doesn't work half the time. Like, it just starts flashing up blocks every now and again. So, I think it has come to that time in the world where everyone has started thinking about their mega bases. So, I know Toby asked for the seed from me the other day. So he could uh, work on it. So that's what he's done. And like I mentioned in the last episode, uh, he's starting to clear out that mountain. So, and I do hope the audio is good in all these videos because, as as you all probably know uh, by now, I am recording in my kitchen at the minute because my dad's doing my bedroom up. So yeah, I didn't want them. I didn't want these. What? I didn't want these towers to take too long. But I I think they just look, sort of look a bit. Short and tubby there, so should we add another ten blocks on top of it? Yes, this is one more. Yeah, that'll look amazing. That'll look absolutely incredible if we can get it on all sides. If we can try and get it on all sides. Obviously, I'm not going to do it in this creative mode testing world because it's just a very grueling task. And maybe we even add like the odd block out every now and again like this. Just to get I don't know. Like I'm not sure. I think we make we needed to make it a bit higher though. I don't like saying that, but it, just, it looks a bit small. But now I need to work on the actual wall design. So I presume I'm just going to work on this wall as it's right next to this one. And I think I'm just going to go for the same uh, parameters. So obviously the block palette we'll be using is stone, as that's quite easy to get. And because, we, because we're using all these stone bricks, the only reason I chose to use stone bricks and not like loads of cobble and stuff is mainly because... Uh, and my main pickaxe on the realm is a silk switch pickaxe, so we should be getting loads of stone. Okay, so we are getting there. Uh, we should bring it up another layer, and yeah. So later on in the video, guys, I am going to go back onto the realm, uh, and we're going to build the template for this. And I, I think, did I mention it in the last episode? I don't know. But I put a sign on this island, so it is reserved for me. Because I just think it's a good place, because we moved our iron farm over to an island over there. So it's in between the village, the iron farm, and it's still quite close to spawn. How big uh, everyone else on the realm is uh, things going to be. But I know that mine's definitely going to be big. It's definitely bigger than my, uh, in my base in an old realm that I didn't even do a YouTube series on. And maybe if this video gets, I don't know, maybe... Maybe if this video gets like... Should we say 10 likes uh, in a month or so? Well, not in a month or so. Maybe in like two weeks or something. If this video gets 10 likes, uh, we will go onto my old realm and uh, check out what happened on there. Now, this realm was with James. James was on it, another person we started this realm with. Uh, Ed was on it. Toby was on it. He did one episode on it, and then we swapped, and then we swapped again to this one, and this one is one we'll be staying on. So after just doing this bit, this is gonna—I just know it's gonna look amazing. 
and I reckon we put a storage system like all the way around this thing. Oh, it's going to look amazing. So now I'm going to head over to, no, that's a lie. Now I'm going to note down the coordinates of this block in the middle to build 22 out each. So guys, I should probably notice, we've, we're not near anywhere near my base, we're actually in the desert at the minute, and near my village, near my iron farm. Now me and James have made this. Uh, it's a lot further away, it's the actual uh, village that we started in is over there. And the reason we had to move it was because it was too close to the other village. So now, everything is pretty much working. Uh, I don't, we've not got any iron, I don't think. No iron yet because we've not even set it up. Well, we've not even AFK'd. So, my, my AFK tonight. So, now let's get in a boat and let's head to the island. So, our iron farm is there, as I just told you. And the island that we're going to be building on is right over here. So, it's literally really close to it. Uh, I don't think it could be any closer, to be honest. Apart from that, if we built it actually on the desert. But I think this is the perfect place, and let's just shoot this witch. And this is what an hour and a half of progress looks like. I'm sorry this video has been so short uh, because it's just been time lapses, obviously. But I did it. I did it in time lapse because uh, it's just boring to watch any other way. Let's be honest. You don't really want to see me do some stone outlines. So this video was basically just me getting to grips with what my base is going to look like, and then in the next video we'll, we'll be putting some serious work into building it. See you in the next one.